Good morning friends. Well it's Monday again and it is a new month. It is June today. So welcome to June. This week we are going to be doing some number games um, because we're going to be practicing our bones, practicing our adding and taking away in 10. So the first one I'm going to show you, you will need two dice or if you don't have any dice I've sent Templates for spinners, um, pencil spinners that look like this. There's all different numbers as well. I've stuck it onto some cardboard and put a pencil in the middle so that what you can do if I take it out, you spin it and then whatever number it lands on will be the number that the dice are keeping on. So let's get started. You can play this as a game with more than one person um, and it's a race if you're playing it with somebody else. I'm going to use my whiteboard, but you can use paper if you prefer. I'm going to split the board into six different bits, six squares. If you want to make it more hard, more difficult, you can have more squares. Okay, so I've got six squares. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my dice and my spinner to get numbers to add up. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to throw, I've got one of each, so I'm going to use one of each and I'm going to throw this. I got a five and three on my little spinner that landed on that side. So, I so what I'm going to do is I'm going to think and I'm going to add up five and three. I'm going to count on five, six, seven, eight. Five and three is eight. I'm going to write eight in my first box. I'm going to do that again. If you are playing with somebody else, you then give them their turn to roll their dice or spin their spinner. Now we're going to keep going, rolling both and adding them up. This time I've got two ones. One and one is two. I'm going to write that in the box. Okay, you keep going, spin or roll. This time I've got a four and a six. Four and six is ten. So I'm going to add them up. Write them in. See, I'm filling up all my squares. So I would do that until I've filled up all of the boxes with adding numbers. So I'll just make up a few more. Um, nine. Right. I've just made some up, so I'll let you see. So once you've got the whole board filled, the game is to try and score them back off again. And it's much harder this way around because you might not get a number on your board. So it's like bingo. So I'm going to go again. So let's see. Oops, I've got a four and I've got a three. So four and three is seven. Do I have a seven on my board? Oh, I do. I've got this one here. So I'm going to score that one off like that. Okay. And I'll do that again. In fact, I should probably have said when you're making your board, you might get the same number twice. It's okay. Just write it down twice. That means you've got to write it. Yeah, you've got to get it twice when you roll them again the second time as well. Right, so this time I got a three and five. Let's count on five, six, seven, eight. First number I got. I can score this one off now. Okay, and you'll keep going playing your friends or playing your family member until somebody has managed to score off all of their numbers. And they are the winner! So there's a little dice or spinner lotto game. I've got a bingo game for you. Uh, I've got one more bingo game for you, or one more game. It's not bingo. And this time we are going to use an egg box. So again, we're going to be thinking about numbers, lowish numbers, and we're thinking of numbers up to 10. So how many bits have I got in my egg box? Should we count? One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I only want ten, so I'm going to cut off two. I'm going to cut off one as well, actually. I'm going to keep that though, so I need it. Right, so I've cut off the two end ones so that I've then got ten. So 
and I've got 10 bits of my box. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to find two different sets of objects or counters. Okay, I need 10 of each. So you could just use counters, different coloured counters, and the handout I'm going to send home has different coloured circles on it. Or you can choose objects in the house. So I'm going to use some pasta. And I've got some play dough. So I think I'm going to make some balls of the play dough. Okay. I need 10 little balls. So one, two, three, four, five. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see what numbers add up to make 10. So on my board, I'm going to do a wee picture. So I've got my pasta, which look like little tubes. Maybe you can check the camera out. And I've got Play-Doh balls. Okay, can you see that? So pasta tubes and Play-Doh balls. We're going to see what makes 10. So my job is to fill all of the holes with one thing in each. So let's see. You can mix them up if you like. As long as each hole has one. Right. There we go. Can you see what I've done? So I've got either Play-Doh or pasta in each little hole. So now I'm going to add them up and see what adds up to 10. So first of all, I'm going to count the pasta. Can you help me? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six bits of pasta. I'm going to write that on my board. How many bits of play -Doh? 1, 2, 3, 4. Four bits of play -Doh. So our story for this one is six and four makes ten. And we're going to see how many different stories we can make. So I'm going to change them about this time. Let's put some of these back. And let's have... Let's see what we've got this time. How many bits of pasta should I count? One, two, three. I'll write it on my board. How many play -Doh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, three and seven, sorry, my pen's running out. Three and seven is ten. So I wonder how many different number stories you can make using a big box. So that's two different games we've got today, and I'll be sending some more home to families as well. So have lots of fun playing, but remember, get outside and have fun outside too, because it's a beautiful day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.